We're told the front door was left unlocked when the thieves broke in to steal the goods. Among the items, dollar bills tacked to the ceiling. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins with the story. Just hours after dinner, a bizarre Thanksgiving theft right here. In the wee hours of the morning, hundreds of dollars just disappear. We get rich people, we get poor people, we get, we get a lot of cool people. The bustling barrel and wooden ware bring an old timey charm, but a morning theft at Dry Town Club caused Alan Frank alarm. I came down from my house, my normal time, uh, you know, around 9 30, 10 o'clock. And noticed to his horror, the front door was left unlocked. I looked up and I saw the empty ceiling. And inside, he says he felt quite the sinking feeling. It was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking that. Never happened to me before. His guitars had all been taken, along with all his bills, hundreds of $1 Washingtons lining walls and windowsills. There was a lot of money on that ceiling, and it was everywhere. From friends and fans and passers by. There was a few hundreds in there. Just shy of 200 people and three miles on each side, he doesn't think his neighbors would try to take him for a ride. No, I didn't hear a thing. At Old Well Cafe and Diner, Eddie Kaffer was just in his store. I heard some noises, I think, the night before. But neither he nor Alan. And saw anything out the door. Yet the ending to this story has a heartwarming shift. His friend heard what had happened and bought two guitars as a gift. He walks in, he goes, Here, Alan, you got a gig tonight. I went from the lowest I could ever feel a violation to just the most ecstatic I could ever be. Frank says he has a message for the thieves that took his cash. Please bring back the instruments and his sentimental stash.